going on for you today? Uh, I just woke up with the awareness that somebody's pressuring me to um, do something on my birthday that I don't want to do. And uh, I, I'm extremely uh, malleable in the world. I let bend to everybody else's wishes mm-hmm. and the only time that I really fully am realized and I go to my own wishes is when I sing and I dance and I play and uh, so there's I'm, I'm feeling anger and sadness and in, uh, in, insignificance and I'm not worthless and I'm, and I'm worthless and I'm, why does that make you feel worthless because I haven't stuck to my guns of I should be dead what do you mean I mean that there have been uh, quite a few times where I shouldn't have just let people stop me from singing I should have persisted if if I'm going to be arrested, if I'm going to be shot for singing, then I should be. To prove a point. That makes sense. I mean, one of the most inspiring... David and I just were all ecstatic about this, that somebody had made a piece of art like this in this time. David? Who's David? You don't remember him. You never met him. He went off and he became a family. But then right in front of it, for the first time seeing it live, seeing a woman came up to me Mm -hmm. with that same place where there it, it was right there I was standing there and told me how much she loved my voice <laughs> just after the police it, it was whatever they were told me to stop and go away what a strange moment <laughs> you know, my experience in this life is this once I found my voice, that was the end of it. Mm-hmm. Trying to stop me all the time. It's so funny that that's a face. It's just the little cupcake face, eyes and nose, with a little mouth that is the. It's going. Yeah. What is that though? That part of it is it's, it a, some sort of stand? What is it's that? part of the stand, but it doesn't work well. I just don't use it. It's not. It's. I don't feel. I don't need it. <clears throat> yeah, it's inter- interesting that it's kind of un- opened up again. Yeah. And I woke up this morning and I was not very. I was not in a good space. Well. I, the last time you got into this kind of headspace was after we got stopped at the um, in Golden Gate Park and you wanted to go back out and I was having to stop you and say don't you're going to get killed you're going to get killed they're going to come and they'll shoot you and I was begging you and crying and, and Ariel was on our side and she was the one who was helping you process this feeling and I got it on film and you were crying and I don't remember what actually happened but yeah I I don't uh, and that is in my head uh, there's uh, 
and sell your weed to us, though, remember? Mm. We told Babe. Yeah, I told Nana how frustrated I was that you were just walking around, like, ready to die singing, and I'm just like, we're in this pretty place. It'd be really nice if we could just have a meal and go watch the sunset and go to bed, you know? beautiful place. Mm -hmm. I barely remember it, but okay. I was in Afterglow. I lasted, started in the stairwell. Mm -hmm. It was the longest you've ever played. And then into the next day and you just couldn't stop playing. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, it's, my body is corroding and dissolving and dissipating. Um, there is an awareness that playing, singing, the whole thing just be, it becomes probably possibly impossible. Um, and can I imagine sitting around um, telling people or giving people advice about life? I'm not really that kind of being. Mm -hmm. And they, uh, and that's why I think of my birthday last year as something that was horrifying. Why? Because that's what I, I turned, I kind of started speaking for a while. And? And I wasted all of this, all of that, um, I don't know what it, to call it. It's nonlinear heart, brain, energy. Mm-hmm. Um, trying to force it into some kind of linear formula um, expression. And at the same time, it's, it was very chaotic, and uh, um, the ideas were not chaotic. They were extremely important. Um, I remember trying to maintain some sort of cohesion and coherence, and uh, Ariel was... Um, She was keeping you on track. Yeah, and that's not where it should have been. Where it should have been was I should have been playing music and singing. I shouldn't have been kept on track at all. And I think that's what Shannon reacted to. What do you mean? I think she wanted me to be as chaotic and then have and not be on track. Pretty sure, because I I we I got we got a message, and that was the last thing I've heard from her since um, that she was she was not very pleased about how Ariel did that. What? She didn't like it. Yeah. Well, it's two powerhouses of spiritual energy kind of battling. Shannon's just younger than Ariel. Uh, what uh, Shannon wanted was that I let that what happened just I free formed. Mm -hmm. well, you did whatever you did. Uh, I have this feeling about it. That's so. Um, so. At that time, there was not an awareness of the loop and the that all that loop, the loop the being um, the loops being a, uh, a uh, impediment to ex experiencing us. That was not expressed yet. Oh. Um, in any event, um, more current is uh, I got 
I woke up with all that stuff in my head. Mm -hmm. um, being triggered, really, by Zoom, by the, by, with the, um, the threat of Zoom. Um, so, it reminds, it has a similarity to the birthday party. Mm -hmm. um, it's interesting. I, I can't. I mean, it's also very chaotic, too, in my heart, because I'm I'm having um, an immense push coming. I mean, when I went yesterday, when, when, I, when I was really tired and I just had, and we had to absorb that blow this woman cast upon this other one in the middle of the crowded subway. Mm -hmm. um, to think that that was a little thing is to um, discount how upset people are in that kind of an environment. It's a horrible thing, mm -hmm. um, and how much one ha and how much as a sensitive being to channel and to hold that and to then dispel it somehow. Um, that's what happened. It's absolutely much. It wasn't the little thing that happened. It was energy depleting. Um, and by the time we got to that really lovely grate, or that, that uh, drum, floor drum at, at that um, place, uh, I was uh, exhausted. And I still did that. Mm -hmm. um, so it made, it made me number one aware that this was a place to do my birthday walkabout um, the timing of it is not afternoon or day it's later all that stuff we learn by doing mm -hmm. um, there's, there's a kind of particular point at which the sun will be very low setting on the buildings and creating these extraordinary shadows and light splotches in the uh, plaza. And that's when I need to be there. Um, it is my birthday. The only thing I want as a gift. Is to be allowed to do that. <coughs> is it a gift? Mm -hmm. The thing that I'm working through is when you talk about, when you were talking about, um, you didn't stick to your guns. That, you know, there's been many times when you haven't stuck to your guns recently. Yeah, um, I haven't. And uh, risked getting yourself killed for singing in, in various spaces recently. The Forever. Yeah, I don't remember the, that yeah. being that way. But recently the Prado Museum you just walked away, and then they, these people came with guns, and they were ready. To, I don't know what were they gonna do, kill you? It's like just shocking to think. But that is a theme of your life and of my life for as long as we've been doing this. We risk getting arrested, getting threatened, getting harassed, getting. Well, we have been killed. arrested. Yes, we've been arrested a few times. We've had our instruments taken away. Barcelona, Spain. We've been put in jail cells. We've been demeaned and mocked and... What's that about, sweetie? I don't know. And it's like, why is it that sticking to our guns and not stopping equates to the possibility of getting killed or watching one of us getting shot? What, why is it that we have to even consider this? That this is us not giving up on our work. 
And it makes, when you were speaking about this, it makes perfect sense to me, even though it's just horrifying in my mind, that I need to stick to my guns and I need to stay true to my expression. And if that means getting myself killed, then that's what it means. Because I don't want to live in this world if I can't express myself. And that would at least make a major point. It's, it's that kind of thing of like people who go out and, and get themselves killed or go out and shoot a bunch of people or murder people or rape people. Those people are way more famous than you and I would ever be. Yeah. But if we they're both... They're revered, actually. Yeah, they're revered. They're honored. Um, Man, uh, Manson, he's still like... Uh, what's that other one? The, 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 yeah, Donner. Uh, who cares? Uh, um, yeah, hmm. and that we... And, and a, a way to go out with a bang would be to get killed for what we did. Well. What? That would be dying well. Yeah, because then it would make a point. It would ripple throughout society and people would see that this, there's something wrong with society, that we're shooting musicians for playing music in public. And we've had plenty of times of threat of that exact thing being threatened to us. I don't know why this is. It happened in Portugal at the um, square. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you... He's threatening me too. Yeah, if you had not stopped, what was he going to do? Shoot you? There's always that threat of something really <coughs> bad happening if we don't stop. And because we're in foreign countries, of course, we don't have any idea what would happen. And they most likely wouldn't shoot you, they'd just take you away, and I wouldn't know where you were. You know, that's hor just a horrifying thought. Like, they were threatening us in um, San Francisco, that's what they were threatening. They, were, they directly threatened that and said, if you don't give us your names and your address and you you know, say that you're going to not do this anymore, then we're going to separate you. We're going to put you in different cars. We're going to put you in different jails. And, you know, the courts open on Monday, so you'll be there for two days. And, you know, yeah. he was directly threatening that to us. Why? Because we were singing in a public space. We were singing and we wouldn't give them money for singing or something. Yeah. That's something of what is wouldn't pay the, pay the park in order to do that. It's just shocking to And we know this. Yeah, it's happened over and over. over it's not and like it's not, uh, not happened. It's <laughs> been Barcelona, San Francisco, New York City. Every country. Every place we've been. It happened in uh, Netherlands, Amsterdam. Yep. It happened in... Uh, every place and it's like if you if we refused to stop if we kept singing what's the thing they could have done arrested us or shot us and it's just like what kind of world are we living in in which this is true and that we and have that to know this cynical. yes and that in every every space that is celebratory of, of art, that is celebrating dead artists or museums, churches, any of these things, they all shush you. And what if we just went into a space like that and sang? The police would come if we refused to well, stop that's... singing. start the tape more because it's very long. They call it a tape. It's not a tape, is it? Not a tape. It's interesting uh, in a certain way, Ariel. Um, uh, 
the difference here is that I go out and I just throw myself into the world. I don't, I'm threatened, castigated. I think it we just went through that. And she sits back in her thing and she has her little pretty thing. Yeah, and still, that's still the case, and that's, even though we have money now, it's, that's still the same, it's still the same thing, that we're still under threat of arrest and, and death for doing what we do, always, and people might say, well, you know, then you need to get a space, you need to pay someone to have blah, 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 you need to get some kind of this, or, re or recognition, or you need to start paying for advertisement or you need to you know all the stuff that everybody else does and that's the reason they do it is because if they don't and they try to do it in public then they're threatened with death i mean that is uh quite simply what would have happened is a huge amount of um, attention would have happened if um during that thing at Golden Gate Park, mm -hmm. because that's where the that's where the crux was. Over this, um, that's where a thing was bound to happen. Because people didn't come to the court because they actually didn't really even know anything had happened. Mm -hmm. But they would have known if something like really strange and stupid happened between the police and. And us. Suing, mm -hmm. basically. Yeah, if they had shot us or injured us in some kind of way. And then we'd have a, a public attorney, somebody who, high powered, who works in public uh, affairs like that is the, the nature of what happened. Yeah, instead it just kind of fizzled away because we agreed to leave the space. And, it, you know, in a, in a situation like that, we can say, what are you going to do? You're going to shoot us? We're not going to stop singing. Just shoot us. Come on. Show us what you're made of, you know? And instead, in order to protect our own selves, we stopped and left. And, then, and it, I mean, it does really make sense that Ariel um, spoke to doing that because that's what she, you know, she doesn't believe in doing that because she doesn't live a life of um, her spiritual thing is not based on that. Hers is all about a, a much more uh, um, fashionable, let's say. Yeah. And, and and kind of learn power techniques to make people do what she wants them to. Mm -hmm. That's what everybody does. And how could you not be cynical and jaded knowing all of this? Yeah. I mean, most people are going around quite stupidly innocent or un unenlightened and they're quite happy because they can just go look at stuff right, because they have little earplugs in and yeah. they have a phone in their face and they're looking at environments and things and going oh yeah you know they go into a church and they go they're satisfied with just looking at the church whereas i want to sing yeah and that's I why i can't that's why i don't like going in there yeah because it says silencio. I mean, the, the first, first thing, thing you see saw. is silence. Yeah. First thing, and the girl is her naughty self feeling me <laughs> pushing yeah. on that hard. <laughs> it made me very happy. <laughs> Did it? Yeah, because it made me, it, it was like, fuck these people. They're, 
Well, like God is God. God gave us these voices, and they were are meant to be in this. We're we're the we're the epitome of what is being God sought given, by this yeah. the, this uh, church. A God given gift. Yeah, absolutely. And that that stupid nun no the other day God. in Lisbon who was like, she's going like this. Chasing. No, no. You know, like, what the fuck? He's she not was very name. threatening when she was. I, she was what, very upset power? because she she was having a power she trip. Scared, yeah. She was scared. She was threatened. She didn't understand. She thought we were ignoring her because she initially was saying she wanted silence, and I thought she was welcoming us because I don't speak Portuguese, and she was telling us to shut up, and then she came out, and walked up to us, and was just really angry. That we were fucking singing like little angels in this space. Like, what kind of world do we live in in which a nun is coming over and telling two people who are singing like angels to be quiet? It's like, this is what I have to know. And it's it creates so much suffering for me. All, all day, every day, no matter what I do. If I stay at home, if we go out, if, you know, I'm just always aware of this. Yeah, this is with us now. Where we are, where we are, this place. And we're kind of in, we're, there are two things that are happening here. We're in search of an environment that welcomes us and recognizes us. We're, we're, in, uh, we're in a, coming to an environment that will completely uh, destroy us. Sure. There's one or the other. Yeah. It's not gonna. It's no, there's nothing else. Yeah. I can enjoy good food. That's a little good, but I'm. Who cares? In the end, as I said, I'm. I'm. As I'm looking at fasting on on some on Monday. I think I. I think what would be good is to. Is give myself really high energy. Power. Because across the street, that guy with the pretty eyes, he may have some really um, high-powered um, protein power drinks. Who? The pretty eye guy across the street. Oh, yeah. yeah. He reminds me of, of the one who gave us the, the heart... Um, the shaman heart um, beads, because he has that same. He's holding a he, he's holding a space that has um, power tools in him. Mm-hmm. In this case, um, food. Ah, oh, boys. Workout was very strange because of the fact that I was very uh, when I'm when I'm, when I'm jazzed.
right? Mm. Hmm? Something that you write. It's nothing to do with us. It's just something that just adds to my feeling of nothingness. <sighs> Can't say hockey. So I've been crying for the last couple of hours. Um, I just saw some things that really made, just com compounded the feeling of sadness in me. And um, just, I couldn't, I couldn't practice. I couldn't do anything. I just lay there for like hours crying and Bunny helped me and
Gracias. What do you say? Be able to do that is the blessing because it just shows my superpower. I can walk in anywhere, fill the place with spirit. I think the uh, the contrast with how dark a place we go and how beautiful a thing we put in the world, I think that's the truth. Yeah.